Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. Today I'm so excited to share with you something different, but still in the planner related video family. And this is my Christmas gift idea organization. Now, this is something that I use um, for birthdays as well. So I don't just use it for Christmas. And um, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, if you still celebrate something else, hopefully this will be helpful to you. Or if it's not helpful to you, hopefully you just like being a little nosy into my planner. I know for me, sometimes I don't use the ideas that I watch, but I sure like watching them. So um, I'm totally okay with that as well. But I just figured that this is a system that I've been using for a couple years. And like I said, I use it for holidays, just kind of all around. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you all. And um, yeah, even if just to pass on, just to say hi, just for something fun. I just wanted to do something not plan with me related, I guess, but also in the planning family. So I already labeled Christmas gift ideas and I put that cute, simply gilded peppermint type washi. And then I was like, oh, I should film this. So that's why it kind of jumped. But here I am using my trusty sixth grade hot pink ruler to make a grid box for all the people that I need, want to buy gifts for. So that's my first step is um, to figure out who you're all buying for, how many people, because that will depend on how many boxes that you will probably want to create. So I have learned in the past to always allow for a couple extra boxes because there's always, I feel like something that comes up and somebody else like you forgot, which that sounds really bad, but um Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, I do want to send that friend something or, oh, there's somebody at work that I do want to get something for. Or, um, I know at work we do like a secret Santa type thing. We call it secret snowman. Um, so I always leave room for that. And um, what I basically do is inside the box, I'll write the person's name and then the idea either that I'm for sure going with or I that will be like in pen or I will pencil in kind of an idea, like a loose idea. And then I put the three letters. I put P, W, R. P for purchased, R for, or sorry, P for purchased, W for wrapped, and R for received. And that is my way of tracking, like, what have I bought? What do I still need to buy? What do I still need to wrap? And who has gotten their gifts? And for the who has gotten their gifts, like the received one, that one might seem kind of silly because you're like, well, no, duh, I'll like know who, who's who got what. But um, sometimes I like to put dates by it for, especially for like coworkers, since um, my gifts to them need to be in by like the middle of the month before we go on winter break. Or sometimes people, you know, take time off right before to go on trips. So sometimes it needs to be even before or whatnot. So that is kind of what I do to mark that. Now, um, that green pen that I'm using is um, a pen from Michaels. It's like a brush tip pen. And then this is my classic Paper Mate flare pen that I'm using to kind of outline. So I kind of jumped because I was figuring out my list and I penciled in all the people that I'm buying for. And then I did um, kind of create some different box sizes as you will see and I just created a jumbo box for my husband um, because we do something a little bit different. We do four gifts so something to read, something you need, something to share, and something to wear. So you'll see me mark that right here and I will do the like purchased wrapped received for each one since those are like the four gifts we always give and we've been doing this since we've been married and it's been really fun to um I don't know kind of stick within a theme and we set a budget and sometimes we hint at ideas and a lot of times we don't my husband like does not like ideas he wants to pick it out all by himself and he's pretty good so I trust him um but yeah I will go in and mark for this video. I think I jumped and I didn't really include any of my like gift ideas, 
because I don't feel qualified to give recommendations for gift ideas. But if you have any questions, um, I kind of shop for people all ages. I'm like shopping for grandparents, parents, mother-in-laws, um, like or in-laws in general. I have two older brothers and older sister-in-law and then three little nephews and then people from work. So I kind of feel like I buy for a variety of people and um, I'm happy to share with you like what I'm doing or what I've done in the past. So definitely like message me either on Instagram or here. I'm totally open to chat. Um, I know I always like to know what people are getting. So um, I always ask friends like, okay, so what are you getting your parents this year? What are you getting your brother this year? <laughs> Just so I can get ideas. Um, but here you can see the PWR in action and I kind of space them out and then I circle or exit out depending what I've done. So hopefully you find this kind of helpful. Hopefully this isn't confusing, but, um, that it's just at least a fun festive way. I know that Black Friday is coming up super fast and I feel like a lot of people have already started their Christmas shopping or their holiday shopping. I know I already have, and that's kind of what inspired this video. But, uh, like I said, I do this even for birthdays too, to keep track and I do have a note section on my phone that has kind of a similar, like a chart with everybody's name. Um, and throughout the year, if I hear ideas or see ideas, I'll drop it into my phone. Like, especially if I'm on the go, like if somebody drops a hint, like, oh, I really wish I had whatever, like these kind of shoes. I don't buy that expensive of gifts though for people. <laughs> um, like for example, my mother-in-law was saying how she wanted, um, like tablespoon, like that were really narrow that could fit in like the spice containers because hers kept getting stuck. So then I'll like add that to like maybe like her gifts that I will be giving her and um, I had that on my phone kind of like discreetly in the moment so I don't forget and then I come back and add it and yeah so I definitely still keep track on my phone but this is kind of like the place that I truly house it all and that I look to because it's all one big and this is kind of like I said this is the more final list I will write it in pen when it is locked in, but you will see that I do jot down some ideas in pencil because sometimes I'm like trying to decide between two things. Like like for my nephews this year, I'm like, do I want to get them a skateboard or do I want to get them um, a game or a toy? So sometimes I write in pencil or sometimes I leave it blank until I know for sure. So that's kind of the gist of it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Like I said, I'm always happy to chat about gifts, gifts ideas, but I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know any thoughts down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in another video. Bye everyone.